Right, since the last game, the two back-to-back -back losses, we thought, maybe we need some team bonding. We went to Oktoberfest, and the rewards have been brilliant, because we haven't lost in six. All right, welcome back to TSV 1860 Munich, episode episode five. Now, since we last met, which was the Unterhaschen game, we've uh, we've been on quite the run. October, we went unbeaten, a home draw against uh, Uerdingen, and then back-to-back -back wins away at Halle and at home against Köln. And we continued that form into November, an away draw against top of the league, uh, Kaiserslautern, and then back-to-back -back wins at home against Mannheim and away against Braunschweig. Now. I'm a little bit worried because I haven't actually lost a game that's not been on an episode. Episode 2 was Jenna and Grosses Patch. We lost uh, to Grosses Patch 3-0. Episode 3 was the Duisburg and Rostock back-to-back -back defeats. And episode 4 was the Bayern and Unterhashing back-to-back -back defeats. So you can see why I'm a bit worried to now turn the camera on and, and show you guys what's going on. If we lose one of these games today, it's, it, I'm cursed. No highlights from the Uerdingen game to really show. Um, not much happened. It was it was it was rubbish really. Away against Haller, we took the lead. Klassen down the left, whipped in, and Lex with the one of the best headers I've seen in a long time on this game put us one 0 up. Kulvetta doubled our advantage just after the hour mark from the corner. The keeper, he shouldn't do better. The header was brilliant. Matthias Fetch got a goal back for Haller. A defensive mistake from Schurz, and uh, he tapped in the rebound, but it wasn't enough. We got away with three points. At home against Kong, we went 1-0 down inside 10 minutes. Another header uh, at the back post. The ball's whipped in. The defender doesn't do anything. And you think Bonman should do better there. Lex got us back on level terms um, in the 36th minute. The ball in. Another header from Lex. In off the bar. He's been in fine form. Literally a minute later, Lex gave us the lead. Wilsh into the box. Lex at the front post. We went into the break 2-1 up. We then got a penalty and Lex completed his hat-trick. Made things a little more comfortable for us. Khan, however, got a goal back on the 75th minute. Some nice play down the left. Again, the ball in. And uh, again, another header, which you think Bonman, again, should do better with that. But Noah loosely gave us... I mean, the, the keeping is abysmal and then he falls over can we see that again the ball's whipped in from Bekiroglu loosely's header it's an awful attempt at goal I mean <laughs> so that was October we kicked things off in November away at top of the league Kaiserslautern you can see from the stats we didn't really play well um we barely got out of our own half but we somehow managed to get out of here with a nil nil draw uh the clean sheet was one of the most impressive things I think our uh, Bonman there playing a 7.1 uh the defense had quite a good game especially Schurz uh, Becker Ugly played okay, but other than that, yeah, we were lucky to get out of here with a point. The following game, Mannheim at home. The first half was slow. The second half, we started well. Kulvetter getting a goal to put us 1-0 up. We doubled our lead 10 minutes later. Kulvetter, the ball over the top, in behind the defence, gets his second of the game for a very comfortable 2-0 victory. And then following that, easily the best game of the season so far. A 4-3 win away at Braunschweig. They took the lead after three minutes. The corner whipped in. The header by Janka put them 1-0 up. Lex equalised again from the penalty spot uh, after half an hour. We went into the break at 1-1. They then took the lead uh, 10 minutes after half time with quite a fantastic goal. Um, I just, yeah, I mean, there's no stopping that at all. Lex again got us back on level terms in the 70th minute. Kulvetter's run down the line and uh, he crossed in to find his strike partner who doubled, doubled, who doubled his tally and uh, got us back on level terms. We took the lead with 10 minutes to go. Kulvetter down the left Laid it back for Klassen, in for Becker Oglu, who scored a sensational goal. And straight from the kickoff, Vine won the ball back on the right just a minute later from the Becker Oglu goal. He played in Lex with a beautiful finish past the keeper. Runs off like a chicken. We were 4-2 up at this point. Nick Proschwitz got a goal back for Braunschweig with about five minutes to go, but we were able to hold on to take all three points. And that brings us to today. Two games, Würzburg at home and Münster away. You'd think the form we've been on, we'd be able to pick up at least four points here. But it's on camera, so who knows what's going to happen. Okay, just a few tactical changes to run you guys through. We've moved Schurz as a ball-playing defender. We seem to be a little bit more solid there. We've taken out a box-to-box -box midfielder and just put in a central midfielder on defend as well, just to be a bit more assured in the middle. And we're also playing more cautiously now. I find that that's worked so far in the last six games, so we're going to continue with that. I have also found when we're either drawing at home or we're losing away, I uh, go attacking and I change the two centre mids to Mazala's on support and that seems to have a real big impact on the way we play. It seems to work. So if we're drawing at home against Versberg, or if at some point 
we begin to lose the game away at Munster, expect to see that change. But this is the team we are going to go with to kick off this episode. Bonman in goal, a back four of Wilsh, Schurz, Rida and Klassen. Erdemann is the holding midfielder. Vine and Bekeroglu the midfield too. Abil in behind Kulveta and Lex, who you think are developing quite the partnership up there. All right, as we kick things off, I can... I can just tell that the boys are a bit nervous. The fact that you're all watching, maybe, you know, maybe they're not they're not used to playing under this sort of pressure. Maybe that's why we lose every game we play on camera. Okay, first highlight of the game. Can we win the ball? We can't. They whip in. I mean, this is this is, is this a joke? This has got to be a joke. What Lucas Pfeiffer with a goal. Ryan's ball in, the header off the bar and in. The keeper can't get anywhere near it. And 10 minutes into the episode, we're losing. They're playing defensively as well, which makes this more annoying. Um, we're uncautious. You might question why we're not going attacking. This has worked so far, so we're going to keep going with it for the time being. We'll give it a little while. We can't change things um, as soon as something goes wrong. I found that was I found I was doing that a lot, changing things straight away as soon as the other team scored or we weren't creating anything. And I think chopping and changing tactics and instructions um, wasn't helping us, especially trying to settle into a new manager, new players, a new season. If they score again, then I, I, I'm generally lost for words. Five for heads over. Thank goodness for that. All right, free kick right on the stroke of half time. Ayabil whips in and we've scored. I don't know how it's gone in. It's an own goal by by uh, Sebastian Schuppen. I'm, I'm happy, but I'm still annoyed the fact that we haven't played well in front of you all, which is really frustrating. The ball's headed back across goal and it just hits him and goes in. We're going to change it at half time regardless. We're going to change things. Okay, the two boys in the middle are going to go on to a supportive Mazala roles. And we're going to go positive as well. Hopefully now we're going to be playing a bit more on the front foot. We can take the game to, uh, to Wurzburg, who are still playing defensively. So we should be okay. You'd think. You'd think. But the camera's on, so you don't know. Can we build attack from, from the back? Sometimes we do it and we do it perfectly. We play it out really well. Sometimes we get caught and concede stupid goals. This one seems to have gone much better than that. Becky Roglu's ball in. Lex is there. And we take a 2-1 lead. You, you have no idea how happy this makes me at the moment. The fact that we don't look like we're going to lose a game on camera is, is oh, it's great. Klassen down the left. He uh, Did he lay it back? I can't even remember what he did. No, it, the, the cross got blocked. Becky Roglu in. And Lex with a volley into the bottom right-hand corner. The keeper can't get there. And uh, we take a 2-1 lead after the hour mark. Okay, 15 minutes to go. Gebhardt and Avusu have come on for Vine and Kulveta. Hopefully we can see this game out with um, with not long left. Okay, 10 minutes to go. If we can get a goal now and make it 3-1, you'd think there's no way back for Versberg. Avusu, the sub, finds Klassen. He's into the box. He crosses in and Lex is there again. This boy, I said it a few episodes ago, he could be our striker this season. And... He scored two hat tricks in in the games you guys didn't see. He's got two more here. He's been brilliant. Ballon d'Or, Ballon d'Or. Klassen drives into the box. Lex with another fantastic volley. It's three one to the Munich boys. Okay, time is ticking away. There's not long left. And this double Mazala, more positive uh, tactic and instruction that I've I've discovered seems to have worked again. The second half we've looked much much better than the first. There it is then. Three one winners over Versberg. We keep the good run going. A good win, boys. Well done. Let's get out of here. Take our points with us. That win moves us up to fourth place in the league. We were fifth before today's today's game. We are now fourth. Only three points off off the playoff place. Six points off the automatics. It was looking unlikely we were going to be able to even mount a challenge to go up. But who knows if we keep this form up. And if we can add a few players in January as well, then who knows what could happen. I'm, I'm quietly confident. Stefan Lex then, if you have a look at him here, 17 games, 12 goals, 2 assists, 4 player of the matches, an average rating of 7.31. He's got to be the, the top goal scorer in the league, surely. Yep, there you go. Stefan Lex, 12 goals this season. He's, uh, he's out in front. I remember saying 10, 10 finishing might be great. It turns out that it's, it's better than great. It's uh, fantastic. I just wanted to bring your attention to Lex winning the November Player of the Month. Four appearances, five goals, an average rating of 7.88. Let's, uh, you know, well, well done. He's, he's worked hard. It's, it's nice to see it pay off. And uh, he's, he's dedicated it to me. What a lovely young man. Right then, Munster away. Uh, we got a few injury problems. Becker Roglu and Ayabil got injured during the week, so they can't play. But this is why we signed uh, midfielders. If we're going to play that diamond, we need numbers in there. So those guys can be replaced, no problem. Wilsh will also miss out at right back as well. Oh, and some more good news. 
I got us a senior affiliate, uh, Dortmund, which is great. So um, a national partnership in which players are loaned. So you can expect come January, we'll be looking at Dortmund wanting to sign quite a lot of their players on loan, I believe. Right, the 11 for this game. Bonman keeps his place in goal. Paul gets to start right back for the suspended Wilsh. Uh, a back four of him, Schurz, Rieder and Klassen. Erdman as the holding midfielder. Vine and Marchand replaces Bekaroglu next to him. Gebhardt replaces Ayabil in behind Kulveta and Lex again. If we can get another good performance from Lex, whenever he scores, I feel like we do well. If we can get two wins in a row, on camera, in an episode, as Munster have the first highlight of the game, they work it out right to Hoffman. They come back for Cueto and the shot goes wide. Another highlight for Munster coming down the left with uh, Rossi Powell. Can he find a cross? He goes back for Pires. Great name, Rodriguez. In for, that's a, that's a very German name, Schwarte. Is he German? He's German. Half an hour in, again, we're not playing brilliantly, but we do know we've got a plan B to go to if we need to change things. As a, Munster have another highlight. If we can win it here, our counter-attacks have been looking good with Kulveta and Lex up there. We just need to win the ball, lads. Win the ball. Queto has it. Win the ball. That's it. Now we, now we counter. Do we counter? We don't. We give it away. They've hit the post. Can we clear? All right, we've won the ball. We're coming forward. Lex is in behind. Can he finish? Lex again. It's a good save by Schulz Nihus, I think is how you pronounce that goalkeeper's name. Again, we won the ball deep. Pushed it forward for Lex and Kulveta, who they're quite quick for this level. So we, we tend to get in behind a lot. Those two seem to be working well. I'm expecting that lovely little green line uh, to come soon between the two of them. Free kick for Cueto. It's a fantastic save from Bonman. He somehow kept it out. From the following corner is whipped in. Uh, Brandenberger collects. Back for Schrieder. Can we clear it? We can. Corner right on the stroke of half time. If we concede here, that would be very, very annoying. It's a great block. Can we clear it? Rieder clears. And Kulvesa decides he's not going to chase that down until the defender's already got the ball. Half time, nil nil. We've played abysmally. You know what that means? Double Mazala and uh, positive. If this works again, tactical genius. To start the second half, we're in behind with Kulveta. It's a great save. I wasn't commentating on it because I didn't think anything was going to come from it. I just thought it was going to be a, a normal kickoff highlight. Munster now looking to build an attack off winning the ball back from us. Can we stop them? We're chasing the ball well. Gebhardt gets there. He finds Lex and uh, the ball down the line for Kulveta. He's one-on-one with his defender. Kulveta's shot is... Uh, is poor. I'm not sure if this is gonna, this is just gonna fizzle out or if it's gonna build to anything. They've had possession for quite a while. Erdman wins the ball. If it can, if if we can counter off this, Kulvet is coming forward. I mean, square it. He's gone for the, sh he's gone, he's gone for goal, and he hasn't scored. But again, this tactic, the double Mazala, playing a bit more on the front foot. 20 minutes into the second half, we look better than we did in the first half. As I say that, Munster are coming forward with Rossi Pal, and we win it again. Can we counter Lex? Use your pace, son. Use your pace, Lex. He finds Kulveta. He's in on goal. Kulveta, another save. Kulveta should have at least had one by now. Possibly a hat trick. Okay, with 20 minutes to go, Mole is going to come on for Gebhardt. We're going to swap him and Marchand around. Awusu is also going to come on for Kulveta, who's had plenty of chances to score. Five minutes to go. Munster have a highlight down here on the left. They whip it in. Bonman makes a good save. Can we nick a winner? Can we get a goal? Bonman's waved everyone forward. Awusu wins the header. Uh, but he can't get it towards Lex, and uh, Munster can bring the ball away again. Oh, it's an awful back pass. Lex, he's rounded the keeper. He's surely got to score. He has scored. Stefan Lex with his 13th of the season. What an awful piece of defending. I'm so used to that from my defenders. I, I just thought they'd be absolutely fine. We'll see it here. Schwarze turns, and uh, the ball back is between both centre-backs. The keeper comes out. Lex rounds him, and he takes a chance dribbling in that far. I would have knocked it in a bit sooner. But we lead 1-0 with minutes to go. Four added on. We have another highlight. Mole back to Klassen. If we can double our advantage, we've got a corner. Vine to whip in. Oh, no. This is the problem. They've left three up. We've only got two back. Brandenberger is, is bringing the ball forward. Can We, we need to, we, get, Someone get him. He's still got the ball. Back for Kittner. Kittner's ball in. That's got to be an offside, surely. Ref? Yes, offside. Free kick. Come on. Time is ticking away. A minute left and there's a highlight. Why? Heidemann's ball in, Scherz heads away, Brandenberger, again, he seems to be everywhere. Kittner, corner ball, come on boys, hold on. Looking at the stats, you'd think we don't really deserve this. They've had double the amount of shots, not as many on target, they've dominated possession, but we've had four clear-cut chances. So when you look at it in that sense, we do deserve something from the game. We've given away a late free kick, this has surely 
got to be the last highlight. You think if we can deal with this, we'll have back-to-back -back wins and three points. It's headed away. Lex can bring the ball away. I mean, the counter-attack's on. Look for someone. It doesn't matter. It's all over. We've won two games out of two in an episode. An 89th minute winner from Lex. This boy, we love him. All right, we get out of Munster with a late 1-0 win. Stefan Lex again. And this is how the table looks at the halfway stage of the season. Kaiserslautern joint top with Magdeburg, both on 40 points. Ingolstadt in third on 37. We are fourth on 34. We're starting to stretch the gap a little bit between us and the teams below us. And we're, we're above Grosses Pasch now, which is, you know, a win in itself. Again, who knows? If we can keep this run of form up and get a few signings in in January. Ooh, I mean, I, I, I'm excited. Okay, the next time we meet, I don't particularly want to bring you guys games of teams that we faced already. For example, Jena and Grosses Pasch. So I think the next time we meet, we'll do Ingolstadt and Magdeburg, two teams that are above us in the league as well. It will kind of give us a good idea of where we stand in terms of a promotion race. Right, we are going to leave it there. And I'm going to leave it there on the page of Stefan Lex. I've just noticed there's a lot of down arrows there. That's hmm. We're not going to read into that because he's got 13 goals this season and he's the three league of top scorer. So well done, that man. If you've enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. I've enjoyed this one. This has been the most enjoyable one I've done. So come on, the boys. If you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. We're back tomorrow with Ingolstadt and Magdeburg, 7pm. I'll see you then. Take care. Goodbye.